langsung dari kali iya. termasuk anaknya juga iya. minum sembarangan sama. penyebaran tenaga kesehatan harus pula disesuaikan dengan luasnya wilayah kasus covid-19 terus mengalami tren kenaikan rahmat yang tak mampu memberi gizi terbaik bagi anaknya telah melewati angka 1.800 kasus empat orang di tanah kasus. air terdeteksi virus covid-19 varian B4 dan B5 temuan varian omikron dalam uji sampel covid-19 di Indonesia yang meningkat angka ini juga mencatat rekor global kasus harian corona termasuk usulan untuk memperlakukan kembali PSBB dan lockdown mengingat lonjakan kasus positif yang sangat besar. Indonesia is facing a triple burden of various disease problems. First, the emerging and re-emerging infectious disease such as COVID-19. Second, the infectious disease. And third, the non-communicable disease which tend to increase every year. These health problems need to be handled properly, especially by the health sector. Therefore, it takes health workers such as doctors who are qualified to handle them. But, qualified doctor needs lots of hard work start from studying in medical school so what do you know about medical school is it a tough challenge is it the amount of subjects that you need to learn or is it a never-ending learning well those things are true but there's one highlight that i want to talk about today speaking of the never-ending learning becoming a part of medical school means willing to be a long life learner. And why is that? Because there are tons of subjects that you need to learn in medical school. For example, embryology, anatomy, histology, pharmacology, microbiology, and etc. You need lots of time to understand all of those subjects, right? Besides, with the advancing technology and science nowadays, those subjects are updated quickly. So, you must follow those subjects even if you are already become a doctor one day. Because what you learn today may not be the same as what you learn next year or perhaps next month. Who knows about that? And what do we do to learn all of those subjects in medical school? There are several types of learning activities in medical school. Let's start with the most important one. that uses problem-based learning as the system. Students are given pages of patient's information. What is unique about this discussion is that the pages are given one by one. Page one consists of the patient's shift complaints, additional complaints, and patient's history. From that page, you must list the problems and give hypothesis of the disease based on the information you are given. Then, you will be given the next page that consists of the patient's physical examination. You must rearrange the hypothesis by choosing the priority based on the additional information. After that, you will be given another page that consists of additional examination, for example, laboratory examination, to eliminate or strengthen your hypothesis. These discussions aim to sharpen your critical thinking skills and give you the insights of how to make a diagnosis of a patient. Along with your discussion, you must list the things that you don't know yet 
and need to learn or so-called learning issue to be explained in the next meeting. Well, what a fun way to learn, right? But let's move on to another class. According to the name, laboratory activity is studying in a laboratory. In this class, we can see the structure of organs or cells or even microbes microscopically by looking at them on the glass slide under the microscope. Especially for anatomy class, you are able to see human organs from a cadaver. We can also try to make something that needs to be done in a laboratory, such as checking your blood type or checking your urine's composition and many more. This class makes you really feel like a medical student, doesn't it? But now, it's time to see another class. Skill activity aims to practice your medical skills such as history taking, physical examination, and any types of interventions such as injection, resuscitation, hacking, splinting, and bandaging. This class is actually the most exciting class because you got the chance to feel like a real doctor. And medical student is popular for its exams. There are four main types of exams in medical school. Let's start with the scariest one, the one and only SOCA. SOCA, or Student Oral Objective Case Analysis, aims to test students' ability in analyzing and explaining about a case or disease starting from its basic science, clinical science, and pathomechanism. The scary part of it is that we have to explain them only in 20 minutes and we don't even know what case we'll get on the day. We could learn and memorize 22 cases in only one system just to explain one case on that day randomly. examination, your knowledge about what you've learned in laboratory activity class is tested. What is so unique about this exam is that each student is standing on one section and given one minute only to answer each essay question. After a minute is finished, the bell will ring and the students have to move to another section following the line. Multidisciplinary examination aims to test student knowledge in answering hundreds of multiple choice questions consisting of all of the subjects in medical school in one time for about four to five hours. Objective Structured Clinical Examination aims to test students' skill in medical examination or intervention to test what they've learned in skill activity class. There are several stations that you need to pass. Students are given one minute to read the question in front of the door and nine minutes to do the skill inside the room. You must do the structured skill based on the model you have given.
medical school. So what do you think? Is it that scary? Is it nothing? Or is it just an average thing to do? Or does it make you feel more exciting to become a part of medical school? Needless to say, become a part of medical school means you have to put lots of effort and you have to study hard to pass the exam. I think it's better for you not to study alone by yourself but to study together with your comfortable people and having someone to discuss with. The point is you need something as your medical support system. You need Medical Education Centre. Medical Education Centre is a tradition centre for medical students that was founded by Muhammad Yida Purnama. Let me introduce you to our CEO and founder, Muhammad Yida Purnama. Hello, I'm Yuda, the founder and CEO of Medical Education Center. MedEc was born as the philosophical value of the heart that sets knowledge in medicine and being the best solution as the support system for medical colleagues. MedEc is here as the heart of medicine to accompany life in medical school, not only in academic also in social life. We provide you opportunities and experiences for medical students to develop their medical knowledge skills so they can contribute to health and well-being through the learning process and social action that will provide concrete results for the progress of the world, especially in the field of medicine. And how can we achieve that? Don't worry, we have several missions. One, helping medical students to maximize their academic potential through the learning and teaching process. Two, provide job opportunities for outstanding students and all students in need. Three, help educational and or social service activities both independently and in collaboration with internal or external parties. 4. Build a mutual relation between medical colleagues in the future. We provide you facilities such as first, regular class. In this class, you will learn about basic and clinical science of several disease. We also facilitate you with model, presentations, pre-tests, and post-tests as the learning tools. The class can be held online or offline in a study room that we have as a partnership with the local restaurant I am Kalasan 727 and Kofi dari rumah. Second, OSHA class. In this class, we provide you with complete medical tools and understandable module for each skills to help you practice your medical skills. The class can also be held online or offline in the same study room. Third, MDE class. In this class, you will practice to analyze and answer multidisciplinary examination questions on weekly classes or monthly tryout. We will also discuss the answers based on reliable sources. Four, private class. In accordance with the name, this class is held specially for those of you who are more comfortable studying alone privately. Which one mentor? will teach one student only. Fifth, most complete and updated model. The model consists of complete explanations, pictures, or schematics based on reliable sources that will help you understand the subject better. And six, exclusive and competent mentor. Our mentors are the chosen ones who have tons of achievements, excellent GPA, and qualified teaching abilities. Beside academic staff, you can have a chit-chat about medical school life with our mentors to increase your insight and widen your perspective about it. For further information, you can check out our social media on Instagram, 
and TikTok at medact.id. We are here waiting for you as a part of our family medical education center. I'm Altafa Sitrik Siniadi. Thank you and see you next time.